Today I'm going to show you how to insert a geometric shape on the half inch grid template that I sent you in order to create a geometric tessellated design. First you click insert, hover over the word shape, go to shape, and then select a shape. So we're going to try hexagon. I'm going to click and drag to draw the hexagon. I can click the paint bucket to change the color. I can resize the shape. You have to have the arrow tool selected, and then you'll get this four sided arrow. Just click the shape you want to rotate, and then if you hover over this blue dot, you can rotate the shape. To resize the shape, the shape has to be selected already. So you, if it's not selected, just go to the blue arrow or go to the arrow tool, click on the shape and it will be highlighted with this bounding box. And then you can resize it with this, with the corner by dragging the corner. Hold the control key and click and drag the shape to duplicate the shape this size and this color. You can also click a shape, hold the shift key, and click another shape, and add another one. You just have to make sure the four-sided arrow comes up on the screen before you click your next shape. Then you can press and hold the control key and click and drag the shape. I'm going to go and move this row. While a row is highlighted, you can also move the whole entire row with the up and down or side to side arrow keys. Even with a grid, I haven't done a great job keeping these right next to each other, but you can take your time, experiment. Don't just do the easiest thing that comes along. Try and explore and see what comes along because even this negative space inside here is really kind of cool. It might make for an interesting stained glass design or graphic design. So use the grid template and insert some geometric shapes and move them around. When you have a nice little collection of them, select all the components by holding shift and moving to each shape and clicking on it after you see the four-sided arrow, then you can hold the control key 
and just duplicate and reposition those shapes. 